In 1619, Virginia passed a law requiring every farmer to grow hemp. It was essential for rope, sales, and survival in the colonies. Hemp wasn't just a crop, it was currency. In Virginia, Pennsylvania, and Maryland, you could pay your taxes with hemp. Throughout the 1800s, cannabis was sold by the pound in pharmacies. It was a trusted remedy in American medicine. Patients used cannabis tinctures for pain, sleep, and digestion without fear, stigma, or legal risk. After the Mexican Revolution, immigrants brought cannabis customs, but not the chaos blamed on them. U.S. media exaggerated fears of marijuana, targeting Mexican and Black communities with racist headlines and policies. In the 1950s, propaganda films warned kids one puff and you're doomed. Marty was their cautionary tale. These dramatized stories created fear, not facts, paving the way for stricter criminal laws. In 1937, the Marijuana Tax Act criminalized cannabis nationwide, fueled by myths and racially charged narratives. Decades later, black and brown Americans still face harsher penalties despite using cannabis at similar rates as whites. In 2018, hemp was federally legalized under the Farm Bill if it contained less than 0.3% THC. Today, cannabis legality varies by state. Federally, it's still a Schedule I drug. For centuries, cannabis was a crop, then a crime, and now a complex contradiction. Legal in states, illegal federally. The story isn't over, it's still being written.